Hi there, everyone, and welcome back to another quarterly update from Call Tracking Metrics. Again, I'm your host, Jonathan Morgia, and I wanted to start off today by thanking many of the folks that are involved in getting these video release notes out to you. I, by far, have the fun and easy job of coming out here and reading off a script, but behind the scenes, uh, behind the camera work, uh, Hannah Hanover, Francis Miller, Rebecca Maslar, Kevin Padini, all from our marketing team do a fabulous job uh, editing the videos and get the content writing out for this. Um, and also, we also have from our uh, product side, Rick Ruth, Nicole Morrison, and Jason Smith that also help from our product team as well. So again, thank you all very much. We appreciate it. You guys do great work. Um, but for now, let's spring into the second edition with all of our updates from Call Tracking Metrics. All right, first up, we have some great news uh, for some of our businesses that use something called SAML. Uh, SAML uh, stands for Security Assertion Markup Language. This enables you to access multiple web applications using one set of login credentials. CTM can now integrate with several SAML identity providers. Some of these include Salesforce, OneLogin, and Okta, for example. With this integration, CTM uh, is the SAML service provider, while Okta, Salesforce, or OneLogin would be the identity providers. For CTM users that are already using a SAML provider or are thinking of using this one, this is an easy way for you to get your users to log in CTM with their SAML credentials. And for more information, uh, we set up a little link below that you guys can click on from our CTM knowledge base. Okay, so our next update is renaming and improving what was formerly known as call scripts. So now is the time to introduce your agents to our new and improved agent script feature. Uh, the agent script helps agents read or capture data right from their screen or soft phone. You can either keep it simple with a set script your agents read directly, or you can have a dynamic script. The dynamic script uh, changes as the agent goes through the call according to multiple pages of input and output data. So this adds a new level of flexibility and functionality for your business and your agent productivity, allowing them to gather data on a call while reducing the potential likelihood of a human error or wrap up time. You can also configure your workflows with rules on when to show an agent a call script or a panel. For example, you can have an agent script available during a specific schedule or for only inbound calls. Once a rule has been set, you can use the workflow to help create multi-page agent scripts, added panels. These can also include things like contact scoring or some other custom panel. Agent scripts are available on both our growth and connect plans. Okay, so let's dive into HubSpot. Um, if you've been in this field in any amount of time, you've probably at least heard of HubSpot or integrated your HubSpot account into CTM. Um, if you're currently using our HubSpot integration and some routing activities such as call or text messages, uh, you'll now have more flexibility over how these activities are distributed using our queues. This is because CTM now has the ability to see who the HubSpot account owner is. Okay, so there are a couple options for routing you can choose to either route the activity to the HubSpot contact owner first, or you could choose to route to the HubSpot contact owner only. So if you're routing to the owner first, CTM will check to see if the contact owner of that record is available, and if so, it'll route to them. If the owner is not available, then the activity will be routed to another agent that is free. When you're routing to the HubSpot contact owner only, CTM will look to see if the contact owner is available. If so, it'll route to them. If they're not available, then the activity will follow the no answer routing set on the call queue you're in. So once you've connected uh, to your HubSpot integration, you'll need to set up a queue. If you need more information about setting up a queue, uh, we'll link uh, our CTM knowledge base in the video uh, description below. Um, and this update is for uh, both our growth and connect plan as well. Okay, so one way that we've learned over time that you can radically simplify your workflows is by using our new message responses feature. This is a great way to provide your agents with a pre-written response for text messaging and it's available on both our desktop and mobile application. So this feature is perfect for our call center users, reducing the amount of time it takes for an agent to reply and interact with clients via texting. Message responses are a very simple way to save you and your agents lots of time and simplify the answer process. Agents can create them right in their own profile. 
There's no limit to how many each agent can have, so feel free to create as many as you need. You can create message responses by simply clicking on the plus button with the message field and picking the appropriate response. Again, this is mobile app friendly, so enjoy this new enhancement. All right, so this update is specific for our Connect Plan customers, and we've got some very exciting updates on triggers and notifications. Specifically, we've updated a team notification enhancement. So not only will this simplify the messaging process, but for Connect customers that need more of a scalable version of notifications, this is exactly what you've been waiting for. If you have a team created, you can now use the team as a distribution list for notifications. This means you no longer have to add each user to a notification. As users are added and removed from the team, they will also be added and removed from the notification. Now you also have the ability to use a team as a trigger rule. So for example, if you want to tag calls answered by specific teams, you can use the member of a team trigger rule. We hope you enjoy these enhancements. Lastly, I wanted to chat a bit about some new releases you can find in our agent mobile app. We are constantly working to develop and improve this app, and we've just added some new features that can help run it a little bit more smoothly for you. So our dev team have uh, added a refresh button inside the mobile app for those times when an update or call may not load correctly. You can also check out reporting tags when you go into your activity screen. Uh, this has a little star icon next to the tag and you can create and change these however you like. That wraps it up for us here at Call Tracking Metrics. Again, on behalf of our family, thank you all very much for letting us serve you. Reach out to your account manager or our fantastic support team with any questions and we'll see you all later this summer. Bye-bye.